Hello, today we're taking a look at HongKongCupid.com. This is a part of the Cupid Dating Network service, and this is tailored to that of those from Hong Kong. So not just people in Hong Kong, but, you know, uh, members from Hong Kong, and that's predominantly, of course, Chinese. So if you are looking for people within that community, then Hong Kong Cupid is for you. So if you're looking for those people from Hong Kong, then you can go ahead and sign up to an account here. You get a standard account, which is a free one, which will allow you to uh, browse through members. Uh, you can even sign up through Facebook to make it really easy. However, if you want to upgrade your account to get things like ad-free experiences, messaging inbox, and more, then you're going to have to go ahead and pay for that membership. Uh, once you sign up, you can go ahead and upload your own profile photo here and fill information about about your profile as far as like your profile status, uh, your basic information, match information, what you're interested in and what you're looking for. This makes it very easy. And you can see it has some defaults here in this case, for example, uh, you have some tabs that are automatically checked and you can go ahead and change those based on your preferences. Now going back to the main menu here, you can see your recommended matches, for example, and I can click on somebody here, for example, like Yan, and I can get a preview of her profile. I can see some images, I can go ahead and click through those, and if I want to go ahead and show interest or add her favorites, I can go ahead and do that. I can see the people that she's seeking out here, and I can also go ahead and click on view profile to jump to the full profile of Yan here. I can see her overview information, basic information such as education, uh, basic preferences, and I can also see the things that match my criteria based off when I signed up. Now this shows you a side-by-side -side comparison to go ahead and show you, you know, something that may, or somebody that may match based on the preferences that you put in when you signed up. So lifestyle preferences, um, background and cultural values, which can be like religion, uh, languages you speak, education level, so on and so forth. So this is how you go ahead and go through the profile. You can go ahead and comment on photos, show interest, or send a message. Now going back to your dashboard, you can do the same thing through here as well. Let me go ahead and just input this information here because when you sign up for the first time, we're going to go ahead and input this. Um, but once you go ahead and go to the dashboard here, you can see you can also go ahead and just show interest and add them to your favorites. The difference being the heart represents uh, adding or showing interest, and if you show interest and they show interest and it's a mutual match and that will show up in your actual matches tab right here at the top. So that's the difference whereas favorites are just you're adding them to your favorites category and you can go ahead and sort through those later on. You can see under the matches you can sort this out and you can go ahead and go through like a different view here if you want. So you can go like a profile view or just a photo view, uh, so on and uh, more detailed view so you get all of their information plus their bio here to make it easy. Now your search tab will allow you to search through uh, the members on the site here. So you can do an advanced search, which is much, much more specific to the person that you may be looking for, whether it's male or female here, you can go ahead and put uh, preferences as far as appearance, lifestyle choices, cultural and background values. You can search through keywords here. You can search through the famous Cupid tag, which is a part of the Cupid network. This basically means like things that you may be interested in. So whether it is a language or a trait or a activity or hobby, you can go ahead and narrow down people who are interested in the same things you are. And you have a ton of different other criteria to go ahead and search for people here. This is your messages tab. Like I said, this is not available unless you are a member that allows you to send messages through here. Uh, and then lastly is the activity tab. So if you do show interest in people or favorites, this is where you would find them. You can see the profiles you viewed. For example, if you saw somebody and you forgot to save them, you can go ahead and check out their profiles. Uh, your profile viewed history by going back to your activity tab and it also shows you activity towards you so people who viewed you favorited you and or showed interest in you you can go ahead and view those as well so if you're uh, interested in the hong kong dating community if you're interested in dating somebody uh, from hong kong then hong kong cupid is the site for you head over to hongkongcupid.com